Hello, this is Bern. And if you've been scared of entering a relationship because you don't want to lose that spark and that magic that you feel at the beginning, and you're asking yourself the question, can chemistry actually last? Well, on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing an answer for you and what you can do about it starting today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life tv.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart centered, and successful women how you can create the relationship of your dreams without gimmicks, without manipulation, without crazy techniques, and as a result of stepping into the most feminine and the most alive version of yourself. I get so many women who connect with me who are in panic at the thought that this experience they're, they're, they're feeling right now is gonna get lost because they've it's happened to them in the past. They connect with someone, the, it, sparks are flying, explosions are going on, and A, either it's unsustainable and it just goes to shit quickly, or they create this connection, but the magic gets lost in the mix of time. So I'm gonna give you an analogy regarding chemistry because I think it's important for you to understand that there's two different, there's a scale and typically two different factors foster different things in a relationship. On one side, you have chemistry and explosive feelings of passion. On the other side, you have security and you have a feeling of groundedness and you have a feeling of feeling safe in that relationship. Those two different vectors don't necessarily cross all the time. And the more safe you get to feel, and the more familiar you become with the human being you're with, the less you tend to experience this magic and this novelty. So in order to understand how chemistry can be sustained and why it's usually not, I'm going to give you an analogy. Uh, imagine that you are driving down in an amazing street, sun is shining, sunroofs up, uh, open, and you hear this new song and it just hits you. It hits your chest and you just can't stop thinking about it. It hits your chest. It's, so, it's a new song you've never heard before. It has all the elements that make you feel deep in your heart. It's, it's, it's a moving rhythm. The lyrics are amazing. The story of the song reminds you of something that's so powerful. So you get hooked and you love and this becomes your new best song, right? This becomes your favorite new song. Well, guess what's going to happen? Uh, over the next few days. If more people feel the same way, that song is going to be playing on the radio or on iTunes, uh, on a playlist, or often. And the more you hear it at the beginning, there's going to be this, this, as you're starting to get to know this song and sing it, it's going to start rising in intensity. And then it's going to reach a point where you say, shit, I'm starting to hear this song too much. What's up with this? And then the more you hear it, the more you say like, ah, it's like just stop playing the song. This is similar to what can happen, doesn't have to happen, what can happen with chemistry if you're not careful about it. The answer to the question is, can chemistry really last? The answer is yes, but not on its own. You need to be willing to do something active to sustain foster and grow in intensity in terms instead of just letting that song play in so many times where you feel like you can never hear the song again because you want to jump out the car when it starts playing. So how, what are the different factors that are, in, that are involved in you not feeling like the favorite song that's being played 150 times in a day and you still feel that level of chemistry? Well, one of them is novelty. First rule basically, if you want to continue feeling sharp and fresh you need to be able to, with that human being, create new shared experiences. Why? Because if all the experiences that you have with that human being are shared, but there's nothing new in the way you're experiencing things, the law of familiarity creeps in. The law of familiarity means that anything you start feeling very familiar towards, you start taking for granted. When you start taking something for granted or someone for granted, you stop feeling that level of intensity with that human being. So the first one is being willing to create new experiences with a human being that you're connected with so that there's an element of mystery, an element of the unknown, an element that you're not necessarily expecting that brings new life into the relationship. Number two, presence and curiosity. 
Why? Because it's not possible to do new things every single day. You do have a life. If you share a life with that person for years and years, there's going to be certain things that are familiar and are very just commonplace. So part of what has part of what brings about this feeling of spark and novelty that fights with familiarity is presence, right? Because if you're present with a human being and you're curious, presence and curiosity, you're going to recognize new things about this person that you haven't re recognized before. Some of them will be more subtle and that's where your presence comes in. If you're not present, those subtle new realizations about this human being will not take place and you'll start seeing the memory of the person instead of the person in front of you and that will start killing that feeling of chemistry. So being present, and this is something that you have to practice on your own. You can't just be present with your partner if you're not present with yourself. You can't be curious with your partner if you're not hungry for life, hungry for knowledge, hungry for wisdom, hungry to get to know more people at a deep level. If you don't practice this, there's no way in hell you're going to practice with your, with your partner. So when you practice those two skills, presence and curiosity, you're going to recognize new things, new angles, new ways of looking at this person that you've never considered before. And that's going to continue breathing a new life to this chemistry. Uh, third is innovation as it relates to yourself, which means self-creation. You are who you are and you need to continue growing and expanding and getting to know yourself more deeply and getting to come up with new ideas, new ways of looking at life, new projects, new things that breathe life into you so that, again, that's the, the whole presence of bringing new life to the relationship that fuels this chemistry is when you continue changing, you continue evolving, and it's not the you from 1985 that the person knows. There's some of it that remains the same, but some of it is new. And that is powerful. I'll give you, uh, I'll co come back to the music analogy to talk about this. Imagine that you hear this new song, right? And after the, you hear the new song a few times, when you do the things that I'm sharing with you, imagine that you now have a, a way of playing an unplugged version of it. Maybe you can do a remix. And maybe you can come to the basic song once you've had this few different uh, versions of the song. And now the basic song sounds even more awesome because you have all these different things to compare it with. That's what stepping into this consciously will create. Different versions of the same song that allow you to start feeling, still feel fresh and still enjoy the melody. Next one is self-love. And self-love in this very specific format. Self-love is important. I've had nth, I mean, hundreds of videos on the topic in some way or another. But this one, self-love as it relates to self-care. The way you look the way you take care of yourself, what you put into your system, how you exercise or don't exercise, how you take time to do things that make you feel more radiant, how you take care of your face and your appearance, how you take care of like things that make you feel alive, sexy, strong, connected. Self-love, when you translate into self-care, you, you see, I see this happen so often. I see women right now sometimes reach out to me for, for this work in their 50s that look significantly better than they did 10 years and 20 years ago. Why? Because they take care of themselves, right? So when you take care of yourself, you take that into consideration. The magic of there's something so attractive about someone who cares about himself, herself, you know? So continue doing that. And the last one is connection to your core. Connection to your core not in your abdomen, right? Connection to your core as it relates to your core essence. Connection to your own sensuality and sexuality. Connection to your own femininity, right? In the case of a woman. Connection to his own masculinity in the case of a guy. But if you're a woman, you most likely listen to my video because you're, my audience is made up of women for the most part because that's why I help. So being able to reconnect with your feminine in healthy, creative ways where you right now are stronger, more connected, more sexy, more alive, more radiant than you were 10, 20, 30 years ago. That's absolutely possible if you step into it. So to answer, long story short, it's possible to not just last in chemistry, but grow in chemistry. But it's not the norm because most people will fail to do all the things that I shared with you right now. We'll take into uh, familiarity and not work on this actively, thinking that it's, it's just how it is, right? So hope this is helpful, useful, insightful to you in some way. If it is, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like or thumbs up on this video. <laughs> Number two, subscribe to my channel and you can hit the little bell if you want to be notified of new videos as they come out. Number three, if you're saying, Bernd, this is awesome, but guess what? I have no one to share this with because I have, don't have a partner. Well, I'm, I've created a video that can help you to understand how 
you can step into the kind of relationship I'm talking about right now. Uh, the first line of the description of this video will sure, uh, when you click on that link, uh, it'll be taken to a place where you can enter your name and email and be taken to a presentation that will share with you exactly how to start creating this kind of relationship. Even further, last thing I'll share with you right now, you're saying, oh, this is awesome, videos are great, I want some actual hand-holding, I want some help, I don't want to go through the pain of trial and error, five years of trying to figure this shit out, help me to create the relationship I want, I'll be happy to, to do that. Uh, there's another link on the description of this video that will allow you to create, uh, submit an application. If you and I, uh, if I feel I can help you, my assistant will reach out, create uh, a time for us to connect, and if we do connect, uh, I'll invite you to participate in my program. Thank you so much for connecting with me as always. I challenge you to live a full and a conscious and a chemistry full life.